And uh, Ashley, we have another question. Okay. Where uh, the analysis from uh, NASA GIS 10 uh, showed very clearly that 2019 was the second warmest uh, uh, year in the record that uh, goes back to uh, 1880 uh, with this same methodology. Uh, the trends that, uh, that we're seeing are uh, similar ones to the ones that we've seen in, uh, in previous uh, times. Uh, we had a very warm uh, Arctic, we have warmer land than we have ocean, but the warming is pretty much uh, everywhere on the globe with the exception of a few parts of the uh, southern, uh, southern oceans near Antarctica. Uh, the trends that we're seeing are very, very clearly outside the noise and the uncertainty in this analysis method. Uh, the trends that we see in America that are most relevant, one is a general warming, um, but I would say more significantly uh, we see the uh, trend in overnight and morning temperatures, what we call minimum temperatures uh, in the business, um, are warming more rapidly than afternoon temperatures, and that can have uh, some profound economic uh, and public health and agricultural consequences. Blue shaded bars are the average for the decades, so if you consider a decade to be the... Uh, to give you a sense of uh, the human contribution, uh, we can take away all of the human contributions. We can take away the changes in greenhouse gases and deforestation and just think about uh, the changes that would have happened without us. So the volcanoes, the solar cycle, the orbital forcing. Uh, and when we do that and we estimate what the uh, temperature pattern would be just because of those, uh, we end up with a massive discrepancy uh, and, a, and a discrepancy that is uh, you know, perhaps six or seven sigma uh, outside of uh, what would be statistically possible. Uh, we compare uh, multiple um, independent uh, assessments of... If the only thing had been changing, if the only thing that had been changing was greenhouse gases, we would have warmed slightly more than uh, we've actually seen. Uh, but you put together all of the uh, human influences uh, in air pollution and deforestation and irrigation and greenhouse gases and the rest, uh, then the trends actually line up very nicely. And